Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the NMNTS Monday Night Thunder Series presented by Motor Cities Racing Magazine. We are here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park on this anniversary of September 11th, 2001, the 16th anniversary. Before we get moving here, ladies and gentlemen, just want to give a big shout out to those people we lost in the Trade Towers and in the Pentagon, as well as Flight 93 on that horrific day 16 years ago. Big thank you to all the first responders, firefighters, policemen, ambulance, everybody that we can think of that went out there, did everything they could that day and tried to save as many people possible. Really, those are true heroes. That being said, we are going to be here at the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park in the Chevy Silverado 250 tonight. I'm Tom Vanoss with NoBreaks.tv. We got Dewey Lizelle up in the booth with me and running the cameras will be Tom Jenks. Dewey. What do you think about this track? We're getting this one running up tonight. It should be an interesting evening. I see a lot of guys in their practice. Got some pretty decent times. Uh, in qualifying, we've only had one truck out of the five or six that were out there that actually got a time, whether going off the track or spinning or whatever that may be. So this track's proving to be pretty difficult for these guys so far this evening. Yeah, definitely. And these trucks, a little bit of heavier equipment going around. It's a pretty technical track, too. you got a lot of slow turns when, on this track, so you guys are going to have to get rolled up pretty good to get around some of these corners. And then there's going to be other corners where they can run flat out. That being said, looks like we had some pretty competitive times throughout the thing. I think from, you know, from first place down through, what is it, 15th, there was a whopping second and a half difference in time. So we should see some decent running tonight here. And, uh... Asphalt, we've got a 2.46 mile 10 turn course um, here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, Motor Sports Park, Dewey. So it should be a pretty good time. Looking forward to seeing these guys go going. Like you said, we're going to see only a few times on here that are going to seem to be making time for qualifying just because if they go off the track even the slightest bit, then this qualifying lap, their qualifying times will not count. Zach Lindgren in the 85. He just came around to start his qualifying time right now. Jared Beasley, 1 minute, 23 seconds, 0.278 is quick time. Eight one eight. Derek Robinson also coming around for his green flag start. A little bit of home field advantage for the 818, the only Canadian in the field this evening. And this is right here in his backyard. Double zero Gordon Larson Jr. just came by to get his green flag run going here. Gordon Larson running in the No Breaks TV rig tonight. Looked pretty sporty in his nice. Looks like Craig Lerman also running in the green flag. Just took his green flag in the No Breaks TV truck. So it looks like we have a couple of those trucks out there tonight. Looking for some strong finishes by them. But you know what, do we? We're starting to see some of his practice as an indication of anything. Those top two drug course races we've got right now, Tyler Justice and David Levine, will probably be battling for one and two all night long again. They seem to steal the show at each and every road course that we go to. They do not disappoint. They put on some pretty good battles. So we'll see if anyone can maybe throw their hat into the mix here this evening. Derek Robinson will take quick time. 122.669. The Canadian up to the top here at Canadian Tire. He's immediately bumped off the pole by the double zero. Gordon Larson Jr., 122.319. Zach Lindgren was third quick, 122.851.
And the 43 is great. Your learning will finish with the 124 with an 075. That's good enough for fifth quick, Dewey. Looks like right now we got Spence Thompson on the track as well, coming across for his tractor flag. He finishes with a 122.85. That's good enough for fourth quickest. So we were able to catch up with the uh, 818 here of Derek Robinson. And Derek, pretty good time here for your, uh, I guess this would be your home track for this series. Yes, it would. Uh, this is uh, this is a fun track. Uh, me and uh, me and the HL, HRL boys there, we've been practicing quite a bit, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, not too bad of a lap for you, Derek. Pretty close to what you put down in practice, which was 12th quick. What are you looking forward to here tonight with how your truck's handling on the track right now? Well, the truck's handling really well, and uh, I just want to keep it on the track and finish the race. This isn't a this isn't a race or a series that I'm uh, very prominent in right now. So I just want to race a good race and stay out of everybody's way, and definitely not not take out one of the leaders. Yeah, definitely, it's one of those types of tracks where you can just go down as long as you're holding your line, Derek, and able to keep it on the track. You should be able to come up with a pretty strong finish tonight. Well, thank you for the advice, and uh, hopefully, yeah, I hopefully I will. And uh, I'm really proud of Gordy there. He uh, he threw out a good lap too. He was all nervous there when he was starting out, and he was, he did really good. Um, that's good. Yeah, definitely. We're looking forward to the HRL boys finishing the top of the podium hopefully tonight. Thank you very much, guys. All right, have a good one. Appreciate you spending some time with us up in the booth, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, I just want to say you guys are doing an awesome job after the races. I always go and watch the watch the broadcast. I'm, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun watching and listening to you guys doing the races. It's good, good job, boys. Well, thank you very much, Derek. We'll let you get back to your preparations here for the start at Canadian Tire, and uh, good luck, buddy. Thank you very much, and go Canada, go. How's Derek Robinson, the only Canadian in the field, currently sitting second on the board right now. Got a bunch of trucks out on track right now. Looks like we got the 81 Andrew Cardinal on his warm-up lap. He'll be coming around here shortly to pick up the green flag to get his time lap in. Also got the 19 the SimSpec PC machine, Mike Bruno on track. Taking a look at Andrew Cardinelli, he's running the Silverado in the number 180 to 1 tonight. Got the 911 Memorial on the hood. Class act by him, putting that on there for PM Designs. Good job by Andrew Cardinelli. Hopefully he can get in and get a decent lap in and start towards the front. Thirty-four, Mike Broderick just came around to take his checkered flag on his time. His time fairly slow. I believe that should be the start of his lap, because that's a 4 minute 22 second lap time. Now, race control may have that wrong. And quick time, Andrew Cardinal comes across with the 122.022. Two of DJ Hargrove on track. He was third quick in practice, 121.342. Let's we'll see if DJ can't keep that truck up towards the front. Looks like right now I'm on board with the 19 in the NMNTS Thunder Truck for Simspec PC Towers, Silverado from Mike Bruno. Mike Bruno in practice able to run a 121 with a 5, so it'll be interesting to see if he can't pick up his pace and uh, knock off Andrew Gardnell for the top spot. Dave Levine in the 59 just came by to pick up the green flag. As well as the 7 of Tyler Justice, the other since that QC truck.
Yeah, dude, this should be a pretty interesting track tonight. There's going to be a lot of these guys going around. As smooth as they can be on some of these tight corners, the better off they're going to be if they can keep their truck between the, uh, between the lines and on the track. They should do pretty good and have a pretty solid finish tonight. It'll be interesting to see if we have any mistakes like we ran into a few other weeks here in these road courses and give these guys a chance to go back and forth in front of each other. Mike Bruno clocks in third quick, 122.645. Fisherman DJ Hargrove coming across right now in his Axe-sponsored Toyota Tundra. He picks it up with a 121 with the 55. He is going to be second quickest as Dave Levine just picks up first quick time with a 120 with a 9. Tyler Justice comes around the final corner to take the checkered flag in the seven. He's going to get a 128.25. That'll put Tyler Justice on the pole. And that will do it for Tyler Justice. He will be taking home the BA Graphics Pole Award tonight for his finish in the... Qualifying. You want to go track him down, do we? See if we can't catch up to Tyler Justice, our pole award winner. Tyler Justice here in the booth with us. Congratulations on the BA Graphics Poll Award, Tyler. Chuck looked pretty good out there, and it looks like it's going to be another battle between you and the 59 of David Levine tonight. Yeah, uh, feels pretty good. I feel like uh, I'm. This, this is one of my more confident road courses. I feel like I always seem to do better at this road course than some of the others. But, uh, yeah, I think it'll be a good night. Uh, it's going to be a long one. Probably not going to have any cautions. Um but uh, hopefully we can uh, keep it up front and stay on the right strategy and uh, maybe pull off another win tonight. So what are you looking at? Just kind of curious on this road course tonight, Tyler. Great job, great run again for the Sibsfect PC Tower number 7. What are you looking for a pit window here tonight? I, I honestly don't know. I have not done a fuel run this week yet. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really tested that out yet, so... Uh, I'll just go with what I feel like will work, and uh, depending on if other people, what other people do, I might jump on some other strategies. Just depends on how the race goes, and uh, we'll figure it out. Well, sounds good. Congratulations on the pool award again. Anybody you want to thank? Yes, sir. I want to thank uh, my sponsor, Simspec. Thank Kenneth Yance and John Barron. Uh, I want to thank all my teammates, and good luck to them tonight. And uh, I want to thank Michael and Bradley for the league, and uh, you guys in the booth. Good luck tonight. All right, you two look forward to speaking with you later. Have a clean run and enjoy the race. All right, appreciate it. Now's Tyler Justice with yet another pole award here tonight. But going to have a little bit of a challenge as him and David Levine seem to be the two dominant trucks on road courses, and now they get to start on the front row side by side. So, this race should be getting interesting from the start. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a couple moments. Just want to give a big shout out to a couple of our sponsors tonight. First, our main series sponsor, Motor Sims Racing Magazine. Go check them out at www.motorsimsracing.com. Pretty good group of guys over there. Put on a pretty good uh, magazine. They got some good information on their website for you. Also, want to give a big shout out to a couple of our primary sponsors. First, Hancock Quality Goods. Go take a look at them at www.oilcanhancocks.com. You know what? They put out some pretty cool little products, some fragrances for men and women. Take a look at them. Use the code THUNDER17 for a little bit of a discount when you're ordering online and shop that promo code. 
Also want to say a big thanks to TN Designs out here tonight as well. They do up a lot of the trucks for some of these guys out here on these teams and also BA Graphics for supporting our Pole Award winner tonight. That being said, I don't want to leave out SimSpec PC Towers, ladies and gentlemen. Go check them out at www.simspec.com. Pretty good group of guys set up the Sim Towers for you guys out there. If you're looking to purchase one or looking to get into iRacing or any other simulator racing or, for that matter, flying or whatever, uh, they have several different options available for you as well as under a budget. And you know what? You can build it up as big as you want. So go check them out. Uh, a couple of good guys over there in Ken Yonts and... Uh, John Barron doing a fantastic job over there at SimSpec PC Towers. Go take a look at what they have to offer for you. That being said, we are No Breaks TV. Check us out at NoBreaks.tv on YouTube and on Facebook. Um, give us a like, give us a share, give us some feedback, anything you'd like to see more on us. We are one of the only broadcasters out there right now broadcasting in 1080p across iRacing. So if you have anybody out there that you know of that might be interested in having some races broadcast or having to take a look at what we can do for you, go ahead and get in touch with us on our Facebook page. That being said, Dewey, you're back up in the booth. We're getting ready to go green here shortly. I think we're going to roll over in a little bit. You got any predictions for tonight's race here at the Canadian Motorsports Park? Uh, it should be an interesting race here tonight. See who can survive the longest, and whoever can keep their truck clean should come away with the victory. Also, I was able to catch up with the driver of the number 16 truck, Michael Redding. And, Michael, I know you didn't take a time here tonight. Pretty tough track. Oh, yeah. Road racing ain't for me. That's why I decided to stay in the back. These guys are in a points battle, and I don't need to be up there screwing it up. Uh, what racing is for you is on the dirt. Me and you, we've had some battles on dirt here the past couple. It's been a lot of fun, and... I know uh, you guys are playing in a, a little bit of a interesting dirt race here in the coming weeks. Yeah, the 1st of August, we're going to have the um, North-South 100. Um, this is more or less Bradley's idea. Um, I want to help run it. Of course, I'm going to run it as well. But it's going to be the UMP Modifieds and the Super Late Models. And I'm going to try to talk him into some street stocks as well, but I don't know if I'll get that through. But anyhow, it'll be at Lanier. Um, It'll be a $5 entry fee, um, guaranteed to pay if you make the A main. Um, it'll be, uh, I'm thinking he's wanting it the 1st of August, maybe the second week of August, somewhere in there. Um, he'll have the details and the flyer out here coming pretty quick. So I'll definitely be looking for that. I think you mean October, right? Not August? Yeah, August, sorry. Yeah, it's going to be in October. Either the first or second week of October is when it's going to be. All righty, Michael. Well, we want to thank you for joining us in the booth. Now you got to climb in that truck and get ready to go here. So good luck here this evening, and hopefully we'll be talking to you a little later. Ah, uh, Maybe so. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a top three to road course, but I don't see that happening. I'm sure it's probably going to be the David Levine and Tyler Justice show as always. You never know, they could end up getting into trouble. It's a pretty technical track. I think you can keep her on the track and back her up for your corners. Think a slow in, fast out. You'll be in good shape, buddy. Yeah, this uh, first corner here on the start is going to be pretty excited up front. It's like we're getting ready to go here in about a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Looking forward to having some fun tonight. Trucks are getting gridded out onto the track, and we will be going green here in about... We'll be starting our... Pay slap here in about 50 seconds. Your lineup for this evening, of course, Tyler Justice in the 7 will start on the pole. Two is outside the 59 of David Levine. Those two very good at the road courses. Starting in third, the two of DJ Hardgrove. We haven't really seen him up front at road courses, so he has a great starting position here tonight in the two trucks. See what he can get done this evening. And to his outside will be the 81 of Andrew Cardinale. Starting in the fifth position, it's scheduled to be the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. And to his outside, the 19, that is Mike Bruno. Scheduled to start in seventh, the Canadian Derek Robinson. And to his outside in the 85, that is Zach Lindgren. Scheduled to start in the ninth position is the 89 of Spence Thompson. And to his outside in the 114 this evening, it is Jared Beasley.
Starting on the inside there, Craig Lerman in the 43, picking up the 12th position. Terry Mason in the number 75 truck, as well as 34, Brian Broderick on the inside with Kenneth Yellen to his outside in the 72. Newcomer to the track tonight and to the league, Sean Lejeune in the number 13 truck. He'll start in the 15th spot. Jason Alexander, the number 5 truck, will start in the 16th position with Blake Flown at 17th. Bradley Wilson will start 18th. Number 9 of Aiden Young will start 19th. Michael Redding and Evil Knievel will be starting in the 20th position. 21st, Corey Walters, and it looks like the 72 of Kenny Yotes is scheduled or opted to start at the rear. So trucks are rolling, Tom. We're getting ready to go green. The next time they cross the stripe, they will be on the hammer. And like Michael Redding said, we're going to have to keep an eye on turn number one as everyone's going to be trying to get as much as they can. And that can prove to be a little scary on some of these road courses. Just four turns to go here, ladies so, and gentlemen. These boys will be taking the green flag coming across the start finish here and about. Looks like to be about 20 seconds. They'll be coming out of turn 10, and then you see the pace car drop off, ladies and gentlemen. And then the race will be started by the number seven and the number 55 or 59 and David Levine in the Berkshire Halfway Car. Pace car pulls in. They roll around that last corner. The green is out. We're underway at Canadian Tire Motorsports. Everybody screams into turn number one. No problem. And now the shuffle per position has begun. A lot of trucks going a lot of different ways right now. Everybody just trying to find their way as Kenneth Yonts sideways. Looks like he has come to a rest. And we have a pile up down here in the corner. It looks like we got one truck completely backwards that appeared to be the 114. Looks like catastrophic damage to the 43 of Craig Lerman from that. And his night could be over as that motor looks toast. Tyler Justice went off track earlier. That surrendered the lead to David Levine. Thirty-four Ryan Broderick also on pit road. And the one fourteen Jared Beasley also with a lot of damage to his machine.
Tyler Justice all over the back of the 81 of Andrew Cardinale. That battle is for second. David Levine about a second ahead of those two right now. Mike Bruno looking to pass Gordon Larson Jr. That is for fifth. Tyler Justice does have a fast truck. He just did not find the right time to pass the 81. He's pulled up to his bumper a couple of times, but Andrew Card now able to fend him off. So we'll have to keep an eye on the set to see when he does decide to try and shoot past the 81. Looks like Mike Bruno is going to be able to get by the double zero of Gordon Lush Jr. for fifth. Spence Thompson going to try and get around him as well. Not able to do so. A little bit of technical difficulties on our side, ladies and gentlemen. We apologize for that, but we've got it worked out. You should be seeing some trucks going around Canadian Tire now. David Devine is still your leader. Andrew Cardinale in second. Tyler Justice in third. DJ Hargrove in fourth. And Mike Bruno now up to the fifth position. Dewey looks like we've had a few cars make some pretty decent sized moves so far, but for the most part, the top 10 cars have pretty much stayed in line at this point. Pretty tough breaks back there in that wreck between with Brian Broderick, Jared Beasley, and Craig Lerman all getting gathered up. Currently one lap down as a result. They'll be on in pit road getting their cars worked on, getting them taken care of. And Craig Lerman has pulled his truck behind the wall. He is done for the evening. Massive motor damage to the 43, not able to continue. And keep an eye on the rookie, the newbie, 13, Sean Zhu. He is up to 11, started in 15th, currently trying to track down the 75, Terry Mason. Not doing a bad job for his first race over here at the NMNTS Monday Night Thunder. Let's keep an eye on him, see how he finishes here tonight. As Mike Bruno has caught the back of DJ Hardgrove, and that's going to be for fourth. The 19 truck starting to look pretty strong here as the laps click off. He's going to try and make his pass down here in turn number one. He gets a little loose in the grass and not going to be able to complete the pass. So like right now, the seven car, Tyler Justice, really driving the wheels off of that, trying to make up as much time as he can to get that position back to the lead. He's trying to gain as much time as he can right now in the second place car, Andrew Cardinal. Andrew Cardinal has been pretty quick, just keeping running the same pace, perhaps, as uh, David Levine in the 59. He's, you know, just about a second back as we see Tyler Justice dive in low in the sharp and the hairpin, tries to get through, bumps off the bump stops, and then keeps rolling.
Well, as we see these drivers, ladies and gentlemen, you'll check them out on the track. We're moving back and forth between a few different drivers. They're starting to get a little strung out, which often happens on these road courses. First three cars are all within two seconds of each other. Then we pick up the fourth place, and Mike Bruno is currently 11 seconds back. DJ Hardgrove, the fisherman in the number two truck, is 12 seconds back in fifth place. Spence Thompson's running sixth. Zach Lingman running seventh. Gordon Larson Jr. in the top ten, running eighth. Derek Robinson, another no great TV, HRL Motorsports truck running ninth, and Terry Mason in the 75 truck running tenth. Andrew Cardinale and Tyler Justice starting to reel in your leader, the 59 of David Levine. He was 1.2 seconds ahead that last lap, this time across the stripe, just barely over half a second. So the 81 and the 7 are really starting to gain on your leader. Uh, looks like the first track they're going to come up to also do it here in a couple corners. It's going to be the 114 to Jared Beasley. He is stuck, one, mired one lap down right now. But that being said, these three drivers are gaining on him, and we'll see if they can't catch him pretty soon. That'd be our first car one lap down. Looks like right now, dude, we have had three trucks take it to the hauler, the Craig Lerman in the 43, also the 72 of Kenneth Younce, and Aiden Young has taken his car to the hauler as well. Battle starting to shape up here for fifth. The two of DJ Hardgrove currently trying to fend off the 89 of Spence Thompson. That's allowed Zach Lindgren, Gordon Larson Jr., and now Derek Robinson to start to come into the picture here. And the two was fending off Mike Bruno. He got, Mike Bruno got past him. He got loose, and all these trucks started gaining on him. Spence Thompson gave DJ a little shot in the shorts coming around to go past the strike. No harm, no foul. DJ able to keep rolling. But the 89 is all over the back of the two. And Zach Lindgren is right there as well as Gordon Larson Jr. Looks like we've got a few cars running back here that have made some good progress. Bradley Wilson, the 88 oil can Hancock's truck started in 18th. Louis he has made his way up to 12th position now. Um, just... John Lejeune in the number 13 truck, the newcomer here to the NMNTS Monday Night Thunder Series. First race of the year, coming in on a road course. So he's holding his own pretty good, running in 11th position. He's 36 seconds back the leader, but well ahead of the leaders at this time. He does not have a concern about getting lapped. He's still a minute in front of them, so he's got some work to do, but still holding his own. It looks like he's starting to pick up some time and actually challenge the 75 for that 10th place position to crack the top 10. Meanwhile up front, first, second, and third are all nose to tail right now. Andrew Cardinale, Tyler Justice able to reel in David Levine. Jared Beasley on the 114, lap down. He kind of got in the way in a really sharp turn, and that allowed the 81 and the 7 to reel in the 59, and now they are running nose to tail. Another one of those tracks that's kind of tough to pass on, Dewey. You got to pick your right spot and hope, you know, almost hope the guy in front of you makes just even the small, smallest mistake. That's all it's going to be for the next guy to go by. So, David Levine can remain consistent in his laps there in the 59 car. He should be able to hold the 80 and the 7 that day for a little while. Um, but once they get into more lap traffic, it's going to be more and more difficult for these guys to get around them. Tyler Justice looking to make his move by the 81 of Andrew Cardinale. And David Levine is hoping that battle will happen so he can kind of pull away from these two and continue to lead this race. 
Looks like back for fifth. Spence Thompson was able to get around two of DJ Hargrove. Spence Thompson starting to put a little distance between him and DJ. Well, Dewey, we are 10 laps in at this point with 57 and 56 to go next time by the stripe. Currently, the leaders just went by the stripe here a couple turns ago, so they will be coming into turn six right now, making a sharp right-hand turn and a little hairpin going back up the hill. Seven, yeah, five, man, a great turn. Yeah, definitely easy, able to get off that corner pretty good, just smooth as could be. It looks like 7 trying to apply some more pressure to that bump into that 81. You know, one of the biggest things for these drivers to remember when they're riding around this course, it doesn't matter if you're in first position or in the 18th position. You never want to drive out of your mirror on a road course. It race the track most or more. You worry about racing the track mostly versus racing the other drivers. You can get some good smooth times and you'll do pretty well here. 13 and Sean Lejeune, he was running in 10th. Had a little contact with the wall, he is off track again. A tough little break here, Sean was doing good. It looks like he's starting to struggle here at Canadian Tire. That'll be interesting to see really how these aggressive braking zones, some of these cars hold up their brakes as they go through the run in their tires. Be interesting to see what kind of tire life these guys have on these and what kind of, you know, what's our pit window going to be? I'm guessing most of these guys are probably going to try to pit around lap 33, 34. That's been the norm about halfway, but we may see some of the guys that have done some tire runs and be able to take it a little bit further as the leaders go by the number 13 right now, who is off in the grass getting out of the way for them. Cross track moves there with on the zoom. Well, we have them over in this long green flag run there, do we? I'd like to give a big shout out to our primary sponsors here with us tonight. Oh, coming back to it, Tyler Justice spins on exit, gathers himself into the front wall. Tyler's trying to battle Andrew Cardinale for second as we see in lap after lap. Looks like he's got a little bit of damage, but nothing too catastrophic to the seven. We'll see if it does affect him in any way, shape or form. He's going to fall way behind the front two trucks, but he still has a good gap between him and his teammate, Mike Bruno. Yeah, Julia, just going back to take a look, it looks like he just got a little too close to the inside retaining wall, hit the rumble strip, and just kind of threw his rear end out, causing him to run in and brush to the front inside, but that's going to cost him valuable time in this race, Dewey. It's going to have to take a lot of work to get caught back up to these two leaders here in David Levine and Andrew Cardinale. In a few laps here, dude, we might have a nice little battle shaping up here between the 85 of Zach Linder and the two of DJ Hargrove, the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. and the 818 of Derek Robinson. Gordon Larson Jr. and Derek Robinson, they're two of those cars from HRL Motorsports. I was talking to him a little earlier tonight. So they, they were out together as a team on the Canadian Motorsports, excuse me, the Canadian Motorsports Park track, doing some pretty good practice throughout the week. So 
That obviously shows in their lap times and the consistency they've been able to keep their trucks on the track and then just consistently moving up and picking off drivers when they get the opportunity to. I've been keeping an eye on the 7 with Tyler Justice. This truck looks to be all right. He is currently nine seconds behind David Levine and Andrew Cardinale, but doesn't look like too much of major damage to the seven. He's going to have to play some type of pit strategy if he wants to try and catch back up. That'll be interesting. I don't know, short pit would be one of those things that would be a good idea here in these road courses. Usually the longer you can run and stay green, the better. But I just don't know what new tires would do for the kid at this point. If he pits early and is able to go for a longer run and make up more time on the track with fresh tires, it would be interesting to know as he just overshoots. It looks like corner number three coming in catches up on the grass a little bit gets a little sideways and that's gonna cost him even a little bit more time to it looks like the tandemings are starting to go away on that seven truck for motor sim or sim spec tc tower number seven of power justice Won't be long and our leader will be catching a couple lap cars. We have the 5 of Jason Alexander coming up and also the 34, Ryan Broderick in the 32 that our leaders are starting to catch right now. Andrew Cardinale is still able to hang with David Levine. These two are right now well over eight seconds ahead. Tyler Justice running third, Mike Bruno fourth, and Spence Thompson in fifth. It looks like Jason Alexander is going to give them the room here as they get through this corner. You know, I guess a good thing, Dewey, for the number seven of Tyler Justice, even though he had that spin and it cost him about nine seconds on the track to get back going again. The other thing, he was in a decent enough position, had a far enough lead over the fourth place car, his teammate Mike Bruin, the number 19 same spec TC Tower truck, that gave him an opportunity to maintain that third position. So he's going to have to really move and try to figure out something to get himself back up in contention with these two drivers here, the 59 and the 81, both David Levine and Andrew Cardinale, they are running pretty smooth lap times right now. You don't see any mistakes coming from either one of them. So looks like they're both content to just be out there running one, two with a nine second lead on the field, eight to nine second lead on the field and going from there. As I was getting into I wanted to give a big shout out to our sponsors, Dewey. First and foremost, Motor Sims Racing Magazine. Those guys have been on board and they're a primary sponsor for the NMNTF series and all three of the series. Both the ARCA, the Monday Night Thunder, and the Grand National Series. So go check them out at www.motorsimsracing.com. Also want to be a big thank you to our BA Graphics tonight for being our on board tonight with the Pole Award winner and giving that award out tonight to the number seven for Tyler Justice. Also, TN Designs on board, as usual. No Breaks.tv. Tom Jenks up in the booth running the cameras. I'm Tom Van Oss and Dua Rizal calling, calling the race for you all. And there's also Hancock Quality Goods, ladies and gentlemen. Go check them out at www.hancock.com. Take a look at their website. 
and Sinspect PC towers. They are on board week in, week out. Good group of guys over there putting together some nice computers. So go check them out at www.sinspect.com. Now that the housekeeping's done, do we? We can get back to racing. It looks like we had Ryan Roderick in 34. Saw him going down pit road. He's going to pit early. It looks like he is taking his truck to the hauler as well, do we? He has just parked it. He had some damage from that little pile up and he was just trying to make the most out of it but the truck just not cooperating and must have uh, enough damage for him to retire for the evening Tyler Justice able to reel these guys in a little bit it's down to six and a half seconds from David Levine and Andrew Cardinale it was once up to almost nine seconds so the seven of Tyler Justice making up some ground here on the 59 and the 81 yeah, taking a look at what we're seeing here lap times wise, that last lap he was two seconds quicker than the leader. So if he's able to keep that up, he should be able to get back in convention pretty quick here. Andrew Cardinale a little too hard on the brakes here. Goes off track a little bit. He had a great run on the 59 and just had to get on the brakes a little too hard, hard to try not to get into the back of David Levine. It's going to give David a pretty good gap between him and the 81 of Andrew Cardinale. It looks like it's uh, almost a two-second gap now. You got a pretty good battle going on back here for 10th and 11th between the 88 of Bradley Wilson and the 11 of Blake Fallone running the DuPont scheme in the truck tonight. This guy's been running nose to tail for the last lap or so. It looks like Blake Fallone's trying to find a way to get around the 88 of Bradley Wilson. Bradley Wilson's holding his own and maintaining his line and not really giving up any room for the 11 to get by. Right now it seems to be the closest battle we have going on on the track for position. DJ Hargrove into the wall. Clipped the inside wall, bounced out to the outside tires. Tough break for the two as he just started to run down Spence Thompson for fifth. He gets it back going in the right direction as the double zero Gordon Larson Jr. is now approaching the two machine. And right and ahead of him, the 13, Sean Lejeune off track again. Looks like the 11 of Blake Fulham was able to dive bomb on the inside corner of turn 8 to get past Bradley Wilson in the 88, and he's been able to pull away about a half second now. Coming into turn 1, just wrapped around X-22 and pulling away and making his work, working towards picking up the catch up to Derek Robinson. He's got a little bit to go there. He's going to need about 30 seconds to catch him. time at all, Dewey. We will have our leaders coming up to lap traffic again. Looks like the next car to go one lap down will be Corey Walters in the 28th. He's next up right behind, right in front of the leader, David Levine and Andrew Cardinal. And we also have the 75 and the 16 in front of him. So we're looking at Terry Mason as well as Michael Redding is going to be in danger of going a lap down here in the next two to three laps. Mm -hmm. Andrew Cardinale able to shave the lead down to 1.2 seconds from David Levine. Tyler Justice now 4.2 seconds from the 59 of David Levine. So the 7 and the 81 are both starting to gain on the 59 as he approaches lap track. It should be interesting to see if they can't indeed get back up to the back bumper of the 59. 
Tell you what, dude, that'll be one hell of a run at the seven. Tyler Justice going to be able to get back to the bumper to the 81 and have to be in nine seconds down. He has been driving his butt off the last five to ten laps just to be able to maintain his speed and get back up there as soon as he can. So I think he's going to be able to close that gap. He seems to be having the opportunity, especially with these lap cars coming up. It might be getting in the way. I think you may see the 7 start to settle down a little bit here now that he knows that he is in striking distance and the pit stops are coming up. He is not so far back. He might be able to settle in and just get into a normal rhythm instead of trying to drive the wheels off of that SimSpec PC machine. And Tyler is in a good position now. He's only 3.3 seconds back. So if the front two pull down pit road, he can pull right down with him and stay within striking distance towards the end of the race. Corey Walters right now, right, right in front of David Levine. And he moves over to the left, gives David Levine and rolled out. It looks like Andrew Cardinal's going to do the same thing, pass on the right-hand side, get around him, coming into the right-hander. That is not what David Levine wanted to see, is the 81 able to close the gap a little bit more. There's another truck in front of David as he is getting ready to catch. It looks to be... Looks Michael like that'll Redding. be the 16 of Michael Redding, dude. It's DJ Hargrove just coming out of the pit area. Now he was starting to regain those guys after his spin, but he came down pit road and got some service, and he's back out and underway. Hey, dude, I want to take a chance right now to give a big shout out to one of our racers, the second half of Go Fast Motorsports. Billy Hargrove's out there. Looks like he's out watching us tonight on YouTube. Billy, glad to see you were able to get through the hurricane and everything down there with Irma safely down in Florida. Well, can't wait to see you back on the track again when we get a chance, buddy. So have a good week and we'll talk to you next week. That being said, back on the track, David Levine is getting ready to come up on another lap car. Do we slow them down? And that'll give the 81 and the 7 another opportunity to close. Tyler Justice is 2.5 seconds behind David Levine. Last time by the drive, Andrew Cardinale now starting to pull up to the bumper of David Levine. With Michael Redding right ahead and some tough passing choices coming up for the 59. This could give second and third a chance to reel him back in. They get by Michael Redding, but the 81 of Adrian Cardinale is now right on the bumper of the 59 of David Levine. As they get by Michael Redding, Dewey, that will leave us with 11 cars remaining on the lead lap. Next car in danger of going a lap down. Looks like the number two of DJ Hardgrove. The other half of Go Fast Motorsports. DJ is the fisherman of the group and Billy's the old man. That being said, it looks like we're going to have a couple guys in front of them as well. Uh, Bradley Wilson, Blake Blown, they're all running back there, nose to tail. Looks like they're picking up as much as they can to prevent from going a lap down as well. Looks like 13 of Sean Lejeune is going to pull it behind the wall and is done for the evening. Tough break for him. Had a good run going with his first race over here at the NMNTS at Canadian Tire. But his truck not able to last through the road course. So hopefully we will see him back next week. But meanwhile, the 81 of Andrew Cardinale right on the tail of David Levine. And look who's coming into the picture here. That's right. The 7 of Tyler Justice has caught the front two cars. That is one heck of a run by Tyler Justice going through getting that spin and coming back and making up eight seconds of time on the track, Dewey. That is something else. He continues to pick him off a little bit each lap. I think last lap by Dave Levine, the leader, ran a 122 with a 39. Andrew Cardinal, a fourth one, a 122 with a 39. Virtually identical times. Tyler Justice ran a 121 with a 27. 
that is just about a full second quicker than the two leaders right now in Tyler Justice. So he is coming and coming with a head of steam, dude. I've been watching Tyler. He's not really been driving the truck as hard as he was. He's just been really utilizing the open track that he has had as the front to battle the lap track. He has made up a lot of ground before he has had to pass that same truck. So right now, that's your top three. David Levine, Andrew Cardinale, Tyler Justice. Mike Bruno, currently fourth, 28 seconds back. Spence Thompson is in fifth. He is 31 seconds behind the leader. Right now, first, second, and third virtually nose to tail once again. No one's been able to find a way around the 59 of David Levine, who's led from the start. Now, that being said, Dewey, looks like the, the next closest truck, the number 19 to Mike Bruno, is 28 seconds back in third place. Or, excuse me, fourth place, Spence Thompson. He's 31 seconds back last time at the line in fifth place. Jack Linden in the 85, that was a good showing again tonight. He was about 41 seconds back. Next car behind him. Uh, Gordon Larson Jr. No Brakes TV truck. He is running in the seventh position, as well as Derek Robinson in the 818 running in the eighth position. It's like right now we have the 818, and Derek Robinson has hit pit road. Dewey, he's going in for his stop a little bit early. He is now moving again, coming back out on the track. Your leaders are nose to tail coming across the track. Bradley Wilson, EJ Hardgrove, right ahead of them. Got some lap traffic ahead of David Levine. And he's trying to fend off not one, but two contenders named Cardinale and Tyler Justice. So this should be getting interesting here as they begin to catch these lap trucks right in front of them. You also have to remember Blake Falone, DJ Hargrove, and Bradley Wilson. They're battling for position as well. And getting close to the end of the regular season points, every position counts so these guys aren't just going to move because the leaders are there they need to try and get every position that they can as well yeah i agree dude there's no reason for them at this point of the race to go through and try to give up any room if they can all it's going to do is end up costing them so hopefully those guys keep battling up there and be interesting to see that we actually have to have the 59 and the 7 that had pretty clear track all night long for the most part It'll be interesting to see what will happen if they get into this competitive track and have to competitively make a pass if they're able to hold on to it. Now, I know Andrew Cardinale has been behind the 59 of David Levine for the majority of this race, but now would be the best time to try and plan a move around the leader as they're getting ready to catch the 88 of Bradley Wilson. That they are, looks like Tyler Drossus is all over the back bumper of that 81 of Andrew Cardinale, Dewey. He has made it all the way back up. So, let's just see what happens here in the next lap or two. It looks like there's a little bit of space coming up with Bradley Wilson in the oil can Hancock truck. Between him and Blake Fulham, 11 in the Gordon Rainbow Warrior truck. He and DJ Harper battle inside by side. David Levine now on the back bumper of the 88 of Bradley Wilson. Get into a tight part of the racetrack here. Bradley Wilson on the inside and preferred line. David Levine able to get around him with a great move. Going to oh, put Bradley Justice Wilson between also, him and Andrew Cardinale. Tyler Justice just walked out of Norris inside the 81. Room. They got held up there by the 88 just a tick. 59, David Levine's got to like seeing having one car barrier between him and the 81 and the 7. That'll give him the opportunity to move all as much as he can. Andrew 
Cardinale going to peek to the inside of Bradley Wilson. Looks like Tyler Just is going to follow him. And in turn one, they'll clean, cleanly make that pass by and set their sights back on David Levine in the 59 truck and making up that ground again. As he approaches more left track, David Levine is going to pick up the 11 of Blake Ballone very quickly here. David Levine is on the back bumper of the 11 of Blake Fallone. And that's going to allow Andrew Cardinale and Tyler Justice to catch back up. As Blake Fallone not willing to just give the position as he's trying to run down DJ Hardgrove. But good move by 59 to get on the inside of the 11. And all three of them sneak by the 11. No problem. David Levine opened the door. Andrew Cardinale and Tyler Justice freight train their way through. Still knows the tail. Cardinale, a little loose coming off of that final corner across the stripe. Tyler Justice right there behind him. They both got a little loose, just pushing as hard as they can, trying to get by the 59. Blake Fallon, the 11 spins and gets caught up as Michael Red or excuse me Bradley Wilson is able to skate by him without making any contact. That will give Bradley Wilson the ninth place position. Both of those guys are one lap down but that will make him still in the top ten. So he picks up top ten position right there and continues to run pretty strong. You know, somebody we haven't had a lot of chance to talk about tonight, Dewey, who's ran a pretty steady, solid race, and that's Spence Thompson, the American Revolutionary clothing car. Uh, he's done a fantastic job tonight. Haven't heard much of him on the radio or anything like that, getting into it with anybody else, but he's been pretty smooth. Keeping his truck pretty clean. He's running about three seconds back in the fourth place position now, and then Mike Bruno, so it'll be interesting. of DJ Hargrove spins in turn number one. Bradley Wilson's going to be able to sneak by him as well. Tough break for DJ Hargrove. That's the second time he's looped it around there in that corner. David Levine still able to hold off the 81 of Andrew Cardinale and the 7 of Tyler Justice. Looks like David Levine able to open up a pretty good gap on the 81 of Andrew Cardinale. About a second and a half. Tyler Just is still right behind the 81 of Andrew Cardinale. He runs third. Running in fourth is Mike Bruno. 34 seconds back. Spence Thompson is fifth. He is 37 seconds back currently. Seven cars on the lead lap. The next two that are on the lead lap. Gordon Larson Jr. running in sixth. He's a minute four seconds back. And Zach Lindgren is a minute five seconds back. Everybody else is one lap down here. 
So, long night for some of these guys. And the seven of Tyler Justice all over the back of the 81 of Andrew Cardinale for second. We've got another decent battle going on back here, too, between the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr., and it looks like I think that's the 85 of Zach Lindgren, Dewey. That's a battle for sixth and seventh position right now, so it looks like they're running up. They're coming up on... Looks like Mike Bruno just completed his pit stop, so it'll be interesting to see how he does moving up here on these fresh tires, see if he's able to make up any time on some of these drivers out here with old tires. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this race up here up front between Tyler Justice and Andrew Cardinal, it seems with every corner under braking, Tyler keeps trying to find a way to get himself around the 81, and he's not able to do it at this time. The 81 has been holding his line and going through pretty good. So, in the meantime, that's given the opportunity in the 59, David Levine, to pull away and open up his lead to just over... 2.2 seconds, just over two and a half seconds now for the 59. That looks like he's going to have open track in front of him, 59 David Levine, for quite a while here for a couple quarters. He's going to be catching up to the 75. Looks like the 75 and the double zero will be the next cars coming up. Looking to maintain their speeds and their positions on the track. Looks like seven of Tyler Justice on pit road. And he is coming off the exit right now at Pit Road, so he's got his fresh tires. He's given up that position. He's going to see if he can make up some time on these two drivers on fresh tires. He has been making up that time all night long. You know what, Dewey? This might be a good opportunity for Tyler Justice to actually really close that gap and potentially take over the lead with Andrew Cardinal and David Levine pit. I'm saying that because he has been consistently a second to two seconds faster than these drivers on the track normally with fresh tires he's going to be even quicker and david levine's going to make the right turn on the road and get his service and 81 and andrew cardinale does not he stays out on track and for the first lead change of the race he'll go to the 81 of andrew cardinale and we are halfway to home this time by Dewey. It looks like the number seven of Tyler Justice is just coming out of turn eight. And he'll be coming around turn 10 right now, coming onto pit road just as the 59 of David Levine starts to exit his pit stop. And Tyler Justice went way over the corner there on turn number 10 was able to dodge the wall still rolling pretty good and he's going to come out right on the tail of 59. yeah it'll be interesting to see if he has the momentum to carry that speed by the 59 if the 59 comes out on cold tires and is able to hang on to it that just they have an opportunity to get by him in one of these braking sections the 11 of Blake Falone right in front of them tyler justice almost loses it in the grass a little bit able to keep it underneath him but he's going to lose all that ground on the 59. Spence Thompson now on pit road. He was running fourth. Mike Bruno goes by, picks up the fifth position. Gordon Larson Jr. also sneaks by. The 89 of Spence Thompson becomes off pit road. Your leader, Andrew Cardinale, is now on pit road. And he has quite a good gap between him and David Levine, but he will lose the lead, it looks, if David Levine keeps up the same pace.
Right now, Tyler Justice is stuck behind the 11 of Blake Fallot and he's lapped down. And Dave Levine is coming by the three start finish right now and it looks like he is going to overtake Andrew Cardinale off the of pit road. He and Tyler Justice both by the 81 who will come back out in the third position. As David Levine looks to go past the lap down truck, the 85 of Zach Lindgren. He was running in seventh, now one lap down. Double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. coming down pit road to get his service. That will surrender the fifth spot back to Spence Thompson. I think right now is seven with Tyler Justice too. He just needs to settle in and run his laps, run his pace. We've seen him make a run all the way back from nine seconds back to get back up within the lead and challenge for it. So at this point he has been a faster truck than gave the beam throughout the race. So he just needs to sit back, get back in the groove, focus on getting by some of the slash traffic so he can go through and make his way to catch the 59 of David Levine and you know it'd be a pretty good little challenge for a race between these two towards the end of this race if he's able to get back to that buffer. He's currently two seconds back right now as David Levine has Larson Jr. looks right in front of him. Tyler Justice went off the track there. Andrew Cottonelli able to close the gap between him and Tyler Justice. Zach Lindgren able to get back at the seven of Tyler Justice. Currently a lap down. Gordon Lark Jr. right in front of Zach Lindgren. And that is able to give David Levine quite a large gap here with two lap down trucks between him and second running Tyler Justice. Yeah, definitely. Looks like Tyler's just struggling to get by the 85. He's able to pinch, get him on the inside of that corner, and next one take off. He's got to get by as the double super Gordon Larson Senior. So these guys have been fighting in the same household. So let's see what happens if Gordon gives him a pass to get by easier if he makes them work for it, do he? Seconds behind your leader, David Levine, in a good time. So second and third are right there. Knows the tail. Right behind Gordon Larson. Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at right there is you're looking out the windshield of the number seven. Inspect PC Tower truck with Tyler Justice as he goes by Gordon Larson on the outside. He gives up the position, gives him some room to get by, and he's going to make the pass. It's Gordon Larson also gives up the space for the 81 car to go by. So if we don't have Tyler Justice in 81, now they can turn their focus on the open track in front of them as they try to chase down the number 59, the leader, David Levine, who moves. looks like he's got a lead of about three and a half seconds over the seven truck. Next six truck schedule to go lap down with DJ Hardgrove. He's currently running in six, so if he goes a lap, we only have five trucks on the lap.
Although we're seeing a bunch of these cars go a lap down tonight, Dewey, that's not uncommon here at these road courses. The fact of the matter is, really, though, there are a lot of these guys still battling for points positions out on this track. Whether they're one lap down or three laps down, their job is, you know, do whatever they can to secure the best position possible to get the best points out of this night. Looks like Blake Falloon took a little spin. Not a lot of damage to the 11, but enough to send him around. Just checking the lap times last time by Dewey Dave. Levine, our leader, was running a 122 with a 009. Second place truck, Tyler Justice, a 121 with a 088. That being said, Tyler's a second faster than the leader, as well as. Andrew Cardinelli, 81, was about a half second faster than the leader. So these guys are both making up some time each lap as we go by. So we're going to have 27 laps to go next time by. That should be plenty of time for these two to get back up there and challenge for the lead, Dewey. Yeah, I have to wonder if the 59 of David Levine is just trying to save his tires until these guys really get to his back bumper and then turn it back on again. Or if these two are really that much faster than the 59 of David Levine, I guess we won't know until these guys start to catch up and get on the back bumper of the 59. Looks like the 81 Andrew Cardinale had a little slip up. Now there's a big gap between him and Tyler Justice, about two seconds. Pretty good battle going on. Gordon Larson Jr. running in seventh, Zach Lindgren in eighth. They're both a lap down, but that, that is for position. As these two have been battling it out for quite a while now. Looks like David Levine able to get around the two of DJ Hargrove, no problem. Tyler Justice running in second, also going to try and find a way around the two. He is now 1.3 seconds behind your leader. It looks like the 7 of Tyler Just is having some trouble trying to get around the 2 of DJ Hargrove. And that's going to let David Levine open that lead back up on the 7 of Tyler Justice. That is not what the 7 wants to see, but that is exactly what the 59 wants to see right now.
Coming off of turn 10, the two almost loses it. Able to gather it back up. Tyler Justice, good heads up driving. They're able to sneak by him. And now he has open track between him and the 59 of David Levine. 1.9 seconds separate first and second place. Looks like Tyler Justice is starting to reel in the 59 of David Levine yet again. They come across the stripe. David Levine only 1.1 seconds ahead. So eight tenths of a second picked up by the seven of Tyler Justice. Still a lot of open track ahead of these two. So we'll see if the seven can't reel them in or if the 59 may be holding back a little bit. Turns on the jet as the seven approaches. Right now, you have five trucks on the lead lap. David Levine in first, Tyler Justice in second, reeling in your leader. Third place, Andrew Cardinale, one point or 6.7 seconds back. Fourth place is 19 of Mike Bruno. He is currently 48 seconds back. And fifth is the 89 of Spence Thompson. He is 51 seconds behind your leader. They came across the stripe. 0 0.7 seconds separate these two of first and second. David Levine way loose, and the seven of Tyler just able to close the gap. A good battle now ensuing for the lead. The seven of Tyler Justice right on the bumper. The 59 of David Levine. A lot of open track ahead of them. This is shaping up to be a pretty good battle. And we'll see if David Levine was holding back or if Tyler Justice is just on a rail right now. Tyler Justice is going to try and make his move here in the final turn before the front straightaway. Not able to get there. A great battle going on between these two. They're opening up quite a distance between themselves and third place running Andrew Cardinale. He's currently 8.4 seconds behind now. Tyler Justice trying to make a move on the 59 just does not have enough to do it right now. Michael Redding is ahead of your two leaders here. They are approaching on the 16 fairly quickly.
Michael Redding lets him go by on the high side. David Levine locks up the brakes a little bit, getting into the corner. That allows the 7 to close the gap just a little bit more. The 59 just running the preferred line, and Tyler Justice not able to find a way around and might have to use a front bumper. Just two tenths separate first and second right now. They have nine and a half seconds between them and third place Andrew Cardinale. Blake Falone is right in front of your leaders. I have to say, these two have run a phenomenal race, just as they always do on these road courses. And we pictured it would come down between these two, and it still looks to be true. These guys just really have a great understanding of these road courses, and they put on a great show each and every time. David Levine off the track from turn number one. Tyler Justice gets by the 59. We have a lead change. David Levine overshoots the exit, and Tyler Justice takes advantage. Blake flown right in front of the seven of Tyler Justice. Tyler looks to get around him no problem. Try and put him in between him and David Levine. David Levine's going to try and take the position away, and he does. Great move by the 59, and he is not going away. Tyler Justice puts a little bit of a gap between him and the 59 of David Levine. 1.1 seconds right now. David Levine off track again there at the exit of turn number one. Well, running in fourth right now, the 19 of Mike Bruno. He's done a pretty good job. We've talked to him a couple of times. He says that road courses aren't really his thing, but 
He has run top five pretty much all evening here, running in the same spot he's been in in fourth. He kept his truck very clean. He's not really gone off track, and he, Mike Bruno's run a very good race, as well as the 89. Spence Thompson. He started in the ninth position. He's able to work his way up to fifth. He's currently one minute and one second back. But the 89 has done a great job here tonight of just keeping his nose clean and, you know, fighting through some traffic. And he's worked his way into the top five and pretty happy with where he sits, as I'm sure he's not really keen of the road course racing as well. And two trucks that have seemed to be a magnet to one another for over half of this race. That is the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. and the 85 of Zach Lindgren. These two have been battling for position for the better part of 25 laps. Gordon Larson Jr. has been in front of Zach Lindgren for most of this battle. The 85 has been able to catch up to him, get side by side with him, not quite able to clear the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. But it seems the practice has paid off for Gordon. He is running a great race here at the road course here this evening. One of the biggest movers of the race is the 88 of Bradley Wilson, currently sits in the ninth position. Bradley started this race in the 18th position, did not take a time, just rather stay at the back, stay out of the fast guy's way. And he's worked his way nine positions up all the way to ninth. That's a great run there for the 88, kept his truck fairly clean. He is currently a lap down, but running in the top 10, that has to feel like the victory for him. A tough break award has to go to the man running in the 14th position. The only Canadian in the field, that is Derek Robinson, trying to defend his home turf. Had a little bit of a truck malfunction, currently three laps down. Able to get that truck back out there, but definitely not in contention for a top five or a top ten, anything like that. So a tough break for him as he was looking forward to his run qualified in seventh. This track, you know, home turf. And uh, you kind of can't help that sometimes whenever you have some uh, technical difficulties. Right now, Tyler Just is currently 1.7 seconds ahead of David Levine. Andrew Cardinale runs in the third position. Last time by the strike, 12.1 seconds back. Mike Bruno. Runs fourth, 58.6 seconds back, and Spence Thompson, one minute and four seconds back, the last time across the strike. As the battle for six still rages on, Zach Lindgren still on the bumper of the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. As these two have been putting on a pretty good show, even though they are a lap down. They have been battling hard around this racetrack, and it has been fairly entertaining. As Zach Lindgren has been close a couple of times to Gordon Larson Jr., able to hold him off. Zach Lindgren now able to get the double zero of Gordon Larson Jr. That is for sixth position. Tyler Justice able to stretch the lead that time by 2.2 seconds over the 59 of David Levine. As nobody else is really in contention to battle these two for their positions.
Tyler Justice in a heap of traffic here, the 5, Jason Alexander. The 88 of Bradley Wilson right ahead of him is Jason Alexander off a little track, off the track a little bit. He comes back on right in front of the 59 of David Levine, but David able to get by him no problem. I have to say, another truck who's doing pretty well here. He is two laps down, but that is the 28 of Corey Walters. Corey started dead last in this field, and he has worked his way up all the way to 11th position right now. He's got to catch the 11 of Blake Fallone to reach the top 10, and Blake Fallone currently is about a second ahead of him. I've been keeping an eye on the 28. He's been able to work through half the field right now. See if he can't get his way into the top 10. A pretty good run here tonight for the 28 of Corey Walters. And ladies and gentlemen, we do apologize. Uh, my partner up here in the booth, Tom Vanoss, having some internet issues right now. Unable to rejoin us up here in the booth. So I am up here solo with Tom Jinx running the cameras. And we'll get Tommy V back in here as soon as we possibly can. Right now, Tyler Justice has a 4.3 second lead on David Levine here and about 10 laps to go. So it's going to take either a crash the 7 of Tyler Justice or one heck of a run by David Levine for him to get back up and try and battle for the lead. Your fifth place running machine, the 19 of Mike Bruno on pit road. Just a handful of laps to go. And he may have brought it down due to some handling issues, old tires, things like he really doesn't have much to lose by coming down pit road. He was well ahead of the first car, a lap down in six. That is the 85 of Zach Lindgren.
I have to say, folks, I don't think 59 of David Levine was holding anything back. As Tyler just this is now 5.5 seconds ahead of the 59. And Tyler Justice really has just run a great race. Had a little bit of a slip up, but that truck is lightning fast. And he's proven it right now. 5.5 seconds ahead of David Levine and only opening that gap more and more every single lap. We're down to four trucks on the lead lap. Tyler Justice, David Levine, Andrew Cardinale, and the 89 of Spence Thompson. Spence Thompson, 1 minute, 14 seconds back. Andrew Cardinale is 16.8 seconds back. It's Corey Walters has caught the tail of Blake Falone. That battle is for 10th. It looks like Blake got a good run there. Able to pull back away from the knee of Corey Walters. Tyler Justice crosses the strike, puts us one lap closer to the finish of this race. As he is starting to get towards the back bumper of Spence Thompson, who currently runs it in fourth gets by him we will only have three cars on the lead lap for the finish of this race Looks like Tyler Justice has got the back the 89 of Spence Thompson. He's going to move over and let the 7 of Tyler Justice by. So that'll leave us with 
just three cars on the lead lap as we are approaching five to go. I want to thank each and every one of you who has tuned in tonight on our YouTube, No Breaks TV. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button down there, that helps us out tremendously with getting everything that we broadcast out there to all the people on YouTube. We are also on Facebook, No Breaks TV. Make sure to go check us out there as well. The NMNTS, they're on Facebook. Go check them out. They do their points, the Sportsmanship Awards, keep you up to date with each and everything that they're doing Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday over here with the NMNTS. Seven point three seconds separate David Levine and Tyler Justice. Andrew Cardinale running in third. He is eighteen point five seconds back. Everybody else at least one lap down. We are drawing to a close here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. And unless a catastrophic event happens to the seven, this is Tyler Justice's race to win. Tyler Justice off track just a little bit. Looks like he's able to keep on rolling no problem. We had a change for the fourth position. Spence Thompson able to get by Mike Bruno. And Mike had a little off-track incident, and I believe, and the 89 is Spence Thompson able to sneak by. On two laps to go here, Tyler just gets sideways, able to hang on. Tyler Justice almost looped it around, and that would have been a big-time disaster. And he's loose again here. Tyler Justice all of a sudden cannot keep the seven underneath him. 
10.1 seconds ahead of David Levine, 20 seconds ahead of Andrew Cardinale. White flag is in the air for the 7 of Tyler Justice. One more trip around Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, and he will pull it into victory lane here this evening with the NMNTS Monday Night Thunder. Currently 9.6 seconds ahead of the 59 of David Levine. Rolling through the final turn for the final time. The 7 of Tyler Justice will come across the stripe and take the checkered flag at Canadian Tire. As coming out of the final quarter, the 81 of Andrew Cardinale gets by the 59 of David Levine. So you run down here this evening at Canadian Tire. Tire Justice comes away with victory. Andrew Cardinale comes home in second. Third will be David Levine. Fourth, that is scheduled to be Spence Thompson, I believe. And fifth, Mike Bruno. Sixth place. Go to Gordon Larson, Jr., Seventh, the 85, Zach Lindgren. Eighth is DJ Hardgrove. Ninth, Bradley Wilson. Tenth, Blake Falone. Eleventh is the 28 of Corey Walters. 12th, Terry Mason. 13th, Jason Alexander. 14th, Derek Robinson. 15th, Michael Redding. 16th, Sean Lejeune. 17th, Ryan Broderick. 18th, Aiden Young. 19th, Kenneth Yontz. 20th, Jared Beasley. And 21st is Craig Learman. So, ladies and gentlemen, we will try and get your top three in here for an interview.
I hear with a third place finisher, the 59 of David Levine. And David, you led early and then just kind of fell off there towards the end. Yeah, a little bit. The uh, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Remen Optics uh, truck was pretty dang good for the first half of the race. And then I guess the uh, tracks looked up and uh, we didn't really adjust for it too much. But uh, Andrew needs that point more than I did. And I'm already locked into the chase. And, you know, I'm trying to get both my trucks up uh, to be able to fight for a championship. And, I know Andrew uh, really needed that point, and I'm just happy that we could come home uh, second and third. And I know we've led the most laps as a team, so we can at least uh, kind of take uh, take solace in that. Yeah, definitely not too bad of an evening. Able to bring home third with a lot of guys at least one lap down. Seemed like a tough track out there, but once again, congratulations on your top three. Anybody you would like to thank this evening? Yeah, I got to say a big thanks to everybody, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Revan Optics, and uh, for everything that they did today on uh, on Patriot Day to kind of, you know, help get us to where we did. And uh, did feel really good to be able to run the, the Patriot Day 9-11 Never Forget scheme uh, today. That was thanks pretty for joining cool, us pretty fun to and... watch you run, David. Congrats on that run tonight. You know what? You led a ton of laps, but uh, you know what? Just was what it was Kyle was just a little bit quicker this time next time it'll be you yeah sure hope so but you know good solid point stay just to make sure we locked ourselves into the chase right there and that was really the only goal we had for today mission accomplished go out and celebrate with your boys anybody you want to thank tonight i'm all set everybody at the uh Berkshire hathaway home services revan optics david levine racing uh shop did a great job to uh to get this uh and hopefully we can just get andrew into uh into the chase here soon. All right, sounds good. Have a good night. Go Thanks, have some too. fun. That was the third played finisher in the 59, David Levine. I'm trying to track down Andrew Cardinale. I do not see him currently. So now we'll catch up with the winner of tonight in the seven, Tyler Justice. Tyler, congratulations. Had a little mistake early, and you were able to battle back and take the win by a big margin here this evening. Thank you. Yeah, it was. I definitely thought the race was over once I spun it there, but uh, got it looped back around and pointing in the right direction pretty quick and was able to run them back down pretty fast. I was kind of surprised, but uh, caught back up with them there and. I was looking at my fuel and I was trying to decide when I was going to come in and I tried to come in a lap before they did and I ended up doing that and I came out of pit road and it showed me half a lap short on fuel so I had to save a little bit there not getting back into the throttle as quick as I was running full full speed laps and was able to uh, get enough save enough fuel to finish the race and uh, come back around and do a little burnout and then I ran out of the fuel doing my burnout so had enough fuel to make it, which was good. But uh, congrats to David on the third place finish. He drove a heck of a race, and uh, Andrew too on second place finish. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it was overall it was a long race, but it was a fun one, and uh, happy to get the win. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to watch you come back from nine seconds back after that spin. We were watching, checking your lap time. Some laps you were two seconds quicker, others a lap quicker. Dewey and I kind of figured you had a pretty good, uh, doggone good opportunity to win this thing after you got back to the bumper of the 81 after running them down from being nine seconds back. So congrats on a great win. It was pretty fun to watch you come back from that hard. And uh, anybody you want to thank out there tonight, Tyler? Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, I want to thank uh, Sim Spec as always, for being on the car. I want to thank uh, uh, Kenneth and uh, John Barron for that thing and uh i want to thank michael and bradley for the league i want to thank you guys in the booth congrats to my teammates and uh yeah sounds good go out and celebrate that win and have some fun and we look forward to talking to you hopefully tomorrow night all right thank you sir well there you have that it was that was our winner of night evening
We'll catch up here with the second place finisher. And Andrew Cardinale, congratulations on the second place. Oh, uh, thanks, dude. It was definitely a heck of a race, man. I uh, really enjoyed racing with Tyler and David there. Uh, and yeah, I mean, just a heck of a race. So our fourth, just uh, stayed in it, trying to get us into the hunt. And then uh, it was perfect timing. As soon as we came back around uh, on the lap after the checkered flag, power flickered for a second and then it went off. So <laughs> some storms out here in California, it was perfect timing if it was going to happen. Yeah, so congrats on that run tonight. It was pretty fun watching you guys compete all the way up there. First, second, and third pretty much following each other around the majority of the race. Solid run. Looked like you were able to keep your car pretty clean or truck pretty clean throughout and pretty smooth laps. Uh, anybody you want to thank out there tonight, Andrew? Yeah, for sure. You know, it's 9-11. i got to start with all the uh, men and women who died trying to save as many people as they could, all the innocent people that died in the Twin Towers on that day. Um First of all, just a huge thanks to everyone, you know, all the men and women uh, that protect this country, did what they could that day. Um, secondary concern goes to, of course, uh, you know, the guys back at Tan Designs, PSI, PSI TV, uh, DLR. But again, you know, this is a, a big day for America to remember, you know, just what has happened and uh, why we keep fighting. So, um yeah, first, you know, just like I said, thanks to everyone who does what they can to protect this country. Thanks to everyone who has, you know, given it all. Well, perfect. Go out there and enjoy that podium finish tonight. We appreciate you joining us. Hopefully we look forward to talking to you tomorrow night, too. Yeah, we're definitely going to try and go get another podium next uh, to tomorrow, actually. Yeah, uh, that's two in a row. We'll see if we can make it three on the weekend. Sounds good. Enjoying it. Looks like we're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow night as well. So that'll do it for tonight. Dewey, you got some... That was our second place finisher, Andrew Cardinelli, and the TN Designs. Very well spoken, and thank you to the people and the first responders there and all the friends and family of 9-11. Um, 16th anniversary tonight, so pretty long day for all of us thinking about those people past and present in the future who are still going to be out there fighting for our for us for what we're able to do and put on back here got to have a big shout out to the first responders not only from 9 11 but with all the stuff that's been going on in the last week two weeks with both the hurricanes harvey and irma uh, we've got racers down there in texas we got racers down there in florida we're glad to report that everybody has got through safe so we look forward to them all joining us here and as soon as they can get them back into their places that being said do we i'll turn it over to you for a little bit of housekeeping I just want to say thanks for everybody for tuning in. If you haven't already, like I said earlier, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like on the video. That helps out. We're on Facebook. Go check us out at No Breaks TV. The NMNTS is also on Facebook. Go check them out for points, updates, sportsmanship awards, and everything that they're doing with the three leagues that they are in control of. I want to say thanks to Tom and Tom for having this broadcast and letting me on, and we'll hand it over to you for the sponsors. Yeah, definitely. We want to give a big shout out to NMNTS primary sponsor. Since um, we got a couple of them that we want to go over with here. First and foremost, let's talk about uh, BA Graphics. They were on board tonight for the poll award winner, and that was an award won by Tyler Justice in the number seven Simspec PC Tower car. So thank you to BA Graphics for being on board. Also, want to give a big thank you to TN Designs. And as well as our two primary sponsors on tonight. Uh, and that it would be Quality Hard Goods from Oil Can Hancock. So Hancock Quality Hard Goods. Go visit them at www.oilcanhancocks.com and use that promo code THUNDER17 to go buy yourself some pretty cool little fragrances and other neat little products that they offer. The other ones I want to say a big shout out to are SimSpec PC Towers. Those boys over there, Ken Yellens and John Barron, do a heck of a job. Go visit them at www.sinspec.com. Um, and we'd just like to give a big thank you to them for running this race tonight here at the Motors Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. This was the Chevy Silverado 250. Big thanks to Motorsims Racing Magazine also for being on board night in, night out for 
primary sponsor of all three series here at NMNTS. Go check them out at www.motorsimsracing.com. That being said, for NoBreaks.tv, I'm Tom Vanoss, Dua Rizal up in the booth, and Tom Jenks up running the cameras and producing tonight. Fantastic job as always. The broadcast looked pretty good. If you have a chance, go out there, give us a like on Facebook and on the YouTube page and share it as much as you can. Signing off from Canadian Tire Motorsports Park here. Have a great evening, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you tomorrow night for the Grand National Series.